Welcome to iLearn ERP's YouTube channel. Glad that you came in and checked us out. Please check out some of our other videos that are on this channel, new releases, some of our academy information. Check those out here on the YouTube page. But today we're gonna to talk about using Cafe One layouts to provide critical user data. And this video is gonna show you how to use these Cafe One layouts to assist your new users with day-to-day -day processes to decrease errors and speed up adoption to many of your company policies. Well, what do we mean by this? One of the biggest problems to new users is that they face a issue of retainage of critical information and processes as they begin their work. They are introduced to so many new applications and tasks that will fill their days that it is very possible that they can overlook or forget key information. If you're watching this video, you have likely begun to use Cafe One layouts and are being rewarded for the efficiencies that using this tool provide. Now, Cafe One layouts provide a workbench type of layout inside of an application so that the key programs a user accesses in their job role are tiled together, and in many cases, they are dynamically linked by certain fields. So, for example, you might have some financial applications linked together to provide customer information. It is in this instance of entering data, account numbers, executing tasks in a specific order that most new users get tangled up by making mistakes. One aspect of using both the Cafe One layouts and also the Page Composer is to utilize the ability to add URLs to layouts and composed pages. By creating training content and job aids on web pages, we can add these to layouts and composed pages to be accessed by users while in the process of getting started in their jobs. By doing this, this reduces the time it takes to access to go and find the answers to simple questions about processes. Let's take a look at how we can accomplish this. As I said, these tools have great applications to create efficiency in any area of your business. So here we are on the home page, and we see that we have set up a procured process page. This is a high level page that shows key applications for users in the procured process chain. You will also notice that on the right side is a video that is showing. Now, this has been added to an internal web page that I have linked inside the page composer. It gives us a high level overview of what the procured process pay entails. And your users can watch this as a part of their introduction to your company's process and procedures. Any type of training can be added to a web page and then linked here and accessed by a user and also can be removed later by using the My Pages feature under personalization. Now, if we go down here and we click on the Enter Standard Voucher, it will take us to the Supplier Ledger Inquiry Program. As it stands, here it is, it's just the program that you see here. But if we look at the use of a Cafe One layout, we can assist a new user who has recently been trained but may not know all of the steps or account numbers. He may not have those committed to memory quite yet. So I'm gonna go up to Personalization and I'm gonna click on the Edit Form Layout option. This opens up the layout editor. So I'm on the supplier ledger inquiry screen and I can add a page with introductory information about the process they're about to use. So I'm gonna go ahead and key that in and I'm gonna go ahead and verify that the page exists. And again, the information I have here is really key concepts and, and important information to keep in mind as they proceed. I'm gonna go ahead and add this to my page and I'm going to click and save this and name it. Then I can go ahead and close it and see it. Okay, so now you see I've added in this page. It's on the inquiry screen and it has my information on the right, the key ideas around the supplier ledger inquiry program and what we use this program for. Now the next piece of that could be what's the next step that somebody would be doing. They'd be adding vouchers. So we can go up and click the plus button. And that takes us to this screen. And this is where we can add more step-by-step -step information. So I'm going to open the edit form editor and I'm going to add the page that I have created. And this one has both video of showing the step-by-step -step processes. And it also has a job aid inside here with the key critical information about counts, branch plan information, everything they need to do during the input process. So you can see this keeps the user inside the page 
and gets the details to needed answers so that they can proceed with the process rather than having to leave their workstation, make a call, send an email, look up something on an additional QRC. So we can have this all at their fingertips and we'll go ahead and save it and name it. And we'll close the window. Now you can see this uh, page in action. So it's a, just a real quick and easy way to free up your IT folks, supervisor resources, so that they can keep doing their jobs and it's gonna keep your users, your new users, engaged in what they're doing. So that's a, just a quick view how you might use Cafe Win layouts to help your business train users. Come see us at ilearnerp.com to find out more about our services we can provide you and your team. We are the people part of your solution.